Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are in the home studio. I will be showing you guys a behind the scenes look of my creative portrait. I've been doing this for a couple of years now, doing creative portraits. And I wanted to give you guys a little behind the scenes on what goes into making these self portraits. So let me take my camera off this tripod and show you guys my setup. So as you can see, this is a three light setup. Um, I have my, sorry, my chandelier is in the way, but I have my AD600 Pro with a 20 inch beauty dish on there. Uh, let me see, it has a grid on there. I gridded it, but I have my AD600 Pro. I also have my AD200. Um, the thing about these little guys, they are super portable and they come with these barn doors and you can attach magnetic gels to there. So this one is gel with a blue light. And I have my other one over this side. <laughs> you see me in the mirror. But this one is gelled with a red light. I may change that out depending on how it look. Um, so this is a three light setup. And we are just in my home studio. Um, I have two uh, V flats. One using, I'm using this as a black background and my other one is just giving me some feel like, let's jump right into the video. guys I'm really excited to share this with you guys um, I've been wanting to do a behind the scenes of my self portraits for a long time I've been should have did it but here we are so the first thing that I'm doing I am checking my lights making sure everything is firing I am using my phone to act as a wireless trigger um, the thing with Canon Canon has that wireless setup where you can connect via Bluetooth and use your phone as a trigger you can see everything on your phone is pretty dope and if you're going to get into doing self portraits you should have some form of wireless trigger but right now i am switching out that red gel and i switched it to a magenta color because that red and blue is giving me like cop colors so let's speed this up a bit so in this self portrait, I wanted, I really wanted to play with some color gels and just get a, another dope headshot of myself. I am due for another headshot. So I wanted to get a little creative on this and introduce color gels. So I did take my grid off and now I'm just using the sock. I found with the grid with no sock, it was a hard, a harsh light that was uh, flashing on my forehead and the side of my face. Trying to get everything right in position, this takes the most time is getting the light right and getting your camera and your tripod in position before the shot. That's the hardest part of a self portrait, but it's possible though, guys. <laughs> I did go ahead and turn that light off just because it was affecting the shot. Um, my camera settings, I'm going to share with you guys my camera settings. My camera settings was, um, I always shoot with a higher aperture. Um, I never shoot wide open um, because I, I just like everything in focus. And with 85 f1.2, if you shoot wide open, you won't have anything in focus. Well, you will have a little portion of the face in focus. But uh, my camera settings is, um, I was shooting at an aperture f9. I was fluctuating between 8 and 9. And my ISO was 125 and my shutter speed was 1 over 125. That's kind of like my go-to settings for, for my studio shoots. And I'll just adjust my lighting, my uh, strobes appropriately.
So that's it for today, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to the channel because I will be uploading more videos like this one. So if you sticked around this far, thank you. And if you already subscribed, I appreciate the love. But until next time, peace. Love you guys.